Hello, boys and girls. Welcome. Guess what time it is? It's Eureka time. Today is November the 12th, 2020, and our goal is to get a night or higher on end of module. Today we're doing lesson 16, and today our objective says, I can relate counting on to making 10 and taking from 10. Our key points. What do we need to know to be successful? Well, the same. We've been going over subtraction, which this is a subtraction symbol. Leftover parts, which are parts that we have left. We also need to know what a number bond is and what it looks like. So just like the picture, what a number sentence is. And remember, this is a subtraction number sentence. 8 minus 3 equals 5. And what teen numbers are. And teen numbers are any number from 11 through 19. Remember that they have a 1 or a 110 in the front. How are we going to be successful today? Well, first, we need to solve but the equation by counting on. Second, we need to solve the equation by using the take from 10 strategy, which we've been learning. Are you ready to practice? Go ahead and take out your whiteboard with your marker, or if you do not have a whiteboard, take out a piece of paper, a blank sheet of paper with a pencil so that you are ready to practice. 11 minus 9. Let's look at different strategies we can use to solve this problem. So this is what I want you to do before you even start writing on your whiteboard or your paper. Go ahead and write 11 minus 9 at the top. Go ahead and make a line down the middle because today we're going to solve using two strategies. We're going to look at two different strategies that we can use. Ready? First, we're going to solve using the tick from 10 strategy, which we've been going over. All this means is that we write 11 minus 9 equals, and now we are going to, remember, first we find our whole number and we draw it. And what is our whole number in 11 minus 9? Get ready. Yes. 11. So let's go ahead and draw 11. 1, 2, 3, sorry, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Remember to draw with me. Then we box 10 circles. So into what two parts did we decompose 11? How many circles inside the box? How many circles outside? Well, inside the box we have 10. Outside the box we have 1. Now, we identify how many we're taking away and we cross them off. How many are we taking away? Get ready. Yes, 9. So everybody, let's cross off 9. And now we just add our leftover parts. How many left inside the box? One. How many left outside? One. One plus one equals, get ready. Yes, two, awesome job. So 11 minus nine equals two. This is one way to solve it. Now let's try solving it by using the count in, counting on strategy. Everybody write 11 minus nine again. And now we're going to count on. This strategy is different because we're going to count on from 9, which is your part, and we're going to stop at 11 because that's our whole number. So everybody, let's count on from 9. 9, 10, 11, stop. You were supposed to draw two circles to show how many you counted on. Well, let's count the circles. How many circles? Get ready. Yes, two. So 11 minus 9 equals, get ready. Yes, 11 minus 9 equals 2. Did we get the same answer? Get ready. Yes, we did. But even though we used different strategies, we still got the same answer. As long as we're working it out correctly, you can use a strategy that is easiest for you. 
Let's try another one. Go ahead and erase your whiteboard or find the next blank space on your sheet of paper. Here we have 13 minus 9. We're going to solve using both strategies, counting on and the take from 10 strategy. So we're going to use the counting on. What strategy? Get ready. Yes, counting on and the take from 10 strategy. What strategy? Get ready. Yes, the take from 10. Go ahead and divide your whiteboards in half or your paper just like this again. Let's do it together. Everybody write 13 minus 9 on this side. And remember, first we identify our whole number and draw it. So what's our whole number in 13 minus 9? Get ready. Yes. 13. So let's go ahead and draw 13. I draw, you draw. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now let's go ahead and box 10 circles. If you need more time to draw, go ahead and press pause and press play when ready. Next, we decompose 13 to match our picture. So how many circles inside the box? Get ready. Yes, so 10 is one of our parts. What's our other part? How many circles outside? Get ready. Yes, three, so 10 and three. Everybody make your number bond under 13 to decompose it into 10 and 3. Next, we identify how many we're taking away and we cross them off. How many are we subtracting in 13 minus 9? Get ready. Yes, we are subtracting 9. So that means we're going to cross off 9. Everybody cross off 9. How many circles left inside the box? Get ready. Yes, 1. How many circles left outside the box? Get ready. Yes, three, so one plus three equals, get ready. Yes, four, so 13 minus nine equals four. Awesome job, boys and girls. Now we're gonna solve the same problem, but using the counting on strategy. So everybody write 13 minus nine again. This time we're gonna count on from nine, but we're stopping at 13 because 13 is our whole number, which is our total. So we're going to draw circles down here to show how many times we counted on. Ready? So let's count on starting with 9. Get ready. 9. Then draw 10, 11, 12, 13. Stop. Remember, we stop at 13 because 13 is our whole number. It's our total. Now we count the number of circles we drew. One, two, three, four. This is the number of circles it took for us to get to our total, four. So 13 minus nine equals four. Did we get the same answer? Get ready. Yes. Even though we used different strategies, we still got the same answer. Are you ready to practice another one? Let's do this. Go ahead and erase your whiteboard or find the next blank space on your sheet of paper. Here we have our next one, 15 minus nine. We're gonna continue to solve using both strategies, counting on and the take from 10 strategy. Divide your whiteboards in half or, your blank, or your, the space you have on your sheet of paper. Everybody write, let's write 15 minus 9 equals, first we identify our whole number and we draw it. So what's our whole number? Get ready. Yes, 15. Let's draw. I draw, you draw. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Stop. Now, don't forget to box your 10. Go ahead and press pause if you need more time to draw. Next, we decompose 15 into two parts that match our picture. How many circles inside the box? Get ready. Yes, 10. How many circles outside? Get ready. Yes, 5. So we decomposed 15 into 10 and 5. Press pause if you need more time. Now, we identify how many we're subtracting. 15 minus 9. How many are we subtracting? Get ready. Yes, 9. So let's cross them off. Remember to only cross off 9. Press pause if you need more time at this time. Now, let's count and add our leftover parts. How many circles left inside the box? Get ready. Yes, one. How many circles left outside? Get ready. Yes, five. So one plus five equals, get ready. Yes, six. So 15 minus nine equals six. Everybody have this? Awesome. Now, let's solve the same problem, but now we're going to use the count on strategy. Ready? We're going to count on from 9. And what number are we going to stop at? Get ready. Yes, we're stopping at 15 because 15 is our whole number, our total. So let's count on from 9. Get ready. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Stop. Let's count the number of circles we drew. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many circles did we draw? Get ready. Yes, 6. So 15 minus 9 equals 6. Did we get the same answer? Yes, we did. This is how we solved using the countdown strategy and the take from 10 strategy. Let's go ahead and practice one more before we move on to our problem set. Here we go. 12 minus 9. Make sure your whiteboard is erased or on your paper you have a blank space to work on. Divide your work area in half. And let's write 12 minus 9 equals. Let's solve using the take from 10 strategy first. So what is our whole number in 12 minus 9? Get ready. Yes, 12. Let's draw it. I draw, you draw. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Go ahead and box 10. If you need more time at this time, go ahead and press pause and press play when ready. Next, we decompose our team number, which is or our whole number, into two parts that match our picture. So just like our picture, how many circles inside the box? Get ready. Yes, 10. And you should know right away because remember that we box 10 circles. How many circles outside the box? Get ready. Yes, 2. So we decompose 12 into 10 and 2. Go ahead and press pause if you need more time. Next, we identify how many we are taking away. How many are we taking away in 12 minus 9? Get ready. Yes, 9. So let's go ahead and cross off 9. Now we just add our leftover parts. How many circles left inside the box? Get ready. Yes, 1. How many circles left outside the box? Get ready. 
Yes, two. And one plus two is? Get ready. Yes, three. So 12 minus nine equals three. Now let's solve by counting on. Go ahead and write the expression on this side, on the next side of your blank space. Remember, we're gonna count on from nine and we're gonna stop at what number? Get ready. Yes, 12, because 12 is our whole number. It's our total. So let's start by counting on from nine. Get ready. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Stop. How many circles did we draw? Let's count. One, two, three. So what is our answer? Get ready. Yes, three. 12 minus nine equals three. Did we get the same answer? Thumbs up, we, thumbs up if we did. Yes, we did. Awesome job, boys and girls. We're gonna continue to practice doing our live session and our problem set. Now it's time for you guys to erase your whiteboards and put them away as well as your blank sheet of paper. Go ahead and take out your learn book, your two lessons, open it up to lesson 16, problem set. Start writing your name, date, and goal. At this moment, you may go ahead and press pause so that you can find lesson 16 problem set in your learn book and write your name, today's date, and your goal. Press play when ready. Problem number one says, solve the problem by counting on A and using a number bond to take from 10 for B. Ready? So let's underline problem one. Lucy had 12 balloons at her birthday party. How many balloons? Get ready. Yes, 12, circle 12. She gave nine balloons to her friends. So she gave nine balloons to her friends, circle nine. How many balloons did she have left? Well, they already gave us the expression. All we have to do is solve. Remember that for A, we're gonna count on, and for B, we're gonna take from 10. So let's count on. Remember when we count on, we're gonna count on from nine, and we're, what number are we stopping at? Get ready. Yes, 12, because 12 is our whole number. So let's count on from nine. Get ready. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Stop. Let's count the dots. Get ready. One, two, three. What's 12 minus nine? Get ready. Yes, three. Awesome job. Now let's solve by using the take from 10 strategy. Here, what's our whole number in 12 minus nine? Get ready. Yes, it's 12. So we're gonna draw 12. Everybody draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. If you need more time at this time to, count, to draw, go ahead and press pause. Remember to also box your 10. Next, we decompose 12 because remember they want us to make a number bond into two parts that match our picture. Well, we drew 10 circles in the box and two circles outside the box. So we decompose 12 into 10 and two. Next, we identify and cross off how many we are subtracting. How many are we taking away, boys and girls, in 12 minus nine? Get ready. Yes, nine, so cross off nine. I'm gonna start this way. And at the end, we just add our leftover parts. How many circles left inside the box? Get ready. Yes, one. How many circles left outside? Get ready. Yes, two. And one plus two equals? Get ready. Yes. Three, so 12 minus nine equals three. So Lucy had blank balloons left. How many balloons did Lucy have? Get ready. Yes, Lucy had three balloons left. Now, go ahead and circle your must-do problems for the live session. Our must-do problems are just problems three and four. Again, 
Our must-do problems are problems three and four. See you in the live session.